Hello, and welcome to another Muskogee Rufford Coaches Show. I'm Shane Stewart, sitting in for the host, Bill Huddleston, along with our head coach, Josh Blankenship. Tough loss this week against the Palpa. Can you tell us a little bit about your expectations and where we came up short? Uh, we set the bar pretty high. Uh, we, we knew we had to win the game to keep our playoff uh, hopes alive, and uh, we really put all our eggs in that basket and uh, approached it that way. Uh, and uh, we had a great week of preparation. It was a short week, um, uh, really rainy, uh, two days of practice too, um, but we were ready. And uh, we went out and we, we played, played hard. A lot of guys played really well. Uh, we came up short. We made too many mistakes uh, to be able to win the game, uh, gave up some plays, um, and then uh, turned the ball over too many times to be able to win the game. But uh, uh, there were a lot of bright things, uh, bright spots, but uh, ult ultimately, you know, we, we came, came up short, and that, that's disappointing. But uh, we're going to move forward and uh, see if we can go beat the Trojans this week um, and uh, finish out this season strong. Uh, with those early turnovers, you, know, you, you expect to see the kids, you know, spirits drop. But the way they fought in that second half, uh, you know, to keep going and keep mm -hmm. going was really impressive. Uh, you know, what was the key to that? I mean, they, it seemed like they never wanted to give up. I think they've got unbelievable character as a group, um, and they've done that all year long. And uh, uh, to continue to fight through the adversity even when things aren't going their way, uh, that's to be commended. And uh, we want to win. Uh, we'd, we'd, it'd be a lot easier to have the coaches show. It'd be a lot easier to go back to work and get ready for Jinx, uh, knowing you had uh, had reached that that goal of beating Spalpa, but it didn't happen. Uh, but what I'm pleased with is that the guys are still going to come to work and uh, they're still going to have a great week, and then, then we're going to go do great things to finish out the season. It was, uh, it was great effort. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, highlights here, and as you see here, first this would be Ivy getting in the backfield, knocking that ball loose, and picks it up with one hand and uh, really getting us started off well on the defensive side of the ball. The, the guys really came out and played hard, as they have all year. Our defense is doing some great things, producing turnovers. Ty Beasley in there. Yeah, filling uh, the hole every time. Wearing number 40, representing uh, Harley Fane and supporting him. Um, really doing some big things. Good bubble pass there to Sammy Richardson at the end of the half, uh, really trying to get things going, and uh, really we're having – Difficulty getting a spark there to start things off uh, in the first half. Come out the second half and we finally find that spark and uh, get Tramal down the sideline uh, for a great running catch and great ball by Quintage also. Gets us on the board finally. Put the energy there to get up the field, wasn't it? Nice blocking outside gives uh, Tyreek a little room to get some uh, yardage after the catch. And then a draw here uh, by Quintage. Uh, he really played his guts out uh, hard and gritty and uh, really fighting until the very end. The kid's full of talent. There's nothing to stop him. He pulls the ball down and he can pick up first down most time with his feet. This was our last offensive play of the game, and if this doesn't sum up the uh, drive and character of our guys, uh, throwing a Hail Mary with one second look uh, right there you can see on the play clock. That's the end of the ball game, and we're still doing everything we can to uh, find some success. and perfectly executed Hail Mary play. We work on it uh, one day, uh, one time, one day a week on our Thursday walkthroughs every uh, every week. And uh, to watch him execute it perfectly is a pretty cool deal. Yeah, uh, really impressive to see him on both sides of the ball a lot. Uh, Tramal was all over the field. I mean, we've, we've got him playing uh, some free safety, some defensive end. Uh, we had him taking the ball as a quarterback in some wildcat type scenarios, uh, playing tight end, and we moved him out to receiver, threw him the fade. Uh, he's, he's a special athlete, and we're going to try and use him every way we can. I think we've even, uh, with Ty Beasley being banged up this week, we, he's probably going to be playing some middle linebacker, and he's never done that before. So oh, really? we've got him all over the place, and we'll continue to uh, go battle. And uh, see what we the effort he gives you week in and week out, I it's guess. Awesome. And, it's yeah. awesome. It's uh, awesome. Real quick, what's the uh, goals after this week? You know, what is the, your team's look, what have you set for them, what have they set for themselves? Right now it's go beat Jinx. Um, this is the last chance we're going to get to play Jinx because uh, of the division split next year uh, with uh, 6A Division One and 6A Division II. Um, and that's ultimately, right now that's it. Um, we're, we're focused on beating Jinx. Uh, we're going to put a plan together, which we have. We're going to put a preparation plan together for the week. Um, guys had a great practice yesterday. We're going to continue to do that for the rest of the week. And we'll go over their place and try to knock them off. We want to be – I have no doubt that Jinx is going to be playing in the state championship this year. So, for us, this is our state championship game. Uh, we say we want to play for that gold ball. Well, 
who would, we, who would we probably be playing if we were in that game? Yeah. It would be Jinx. Uh, so we're going to have that opportunity. Um, we want to be at the end of the season if Jinx gets to win that state championship and they've got uh, uh, on all their publications the 2013 6A state championship, uh, Jinx Trojans. We want to say 13-1 and one and know for the rest of our lives that we were that one on their record. That's awesome. uh, so that's our goal for the week. When we come back from this break, we're going to visit with the champion of the week, the quarterback, Cherry. Welcome back. Sitting with me, Quintos Cherry, this week's champion of the week. Coach Blankenship's going to have a few questions for you, so I'll let you take it. Uh, Quintos, obviously our quarterback, uh, uh, has been starting for us all year, uh, does amazing things on the football field, uh, is a great leader. He's our, one of our captains, uh, one of our most consistent leaders. Uh, obviously, to be that, you, you got to be that way all the time, and he is uh, in the classroom. Uh, at school, uh, his grades are excellent. Uh, the way he handles himself uh, out out around town, uh, the type of guy he is, the type of leader he is, he's a, he's our champion of the week, and it's uh, easy to see why he has the success that he does and, and all the things that he does. Uh, football player also plays basketball. Uh, we playing point guard in basketball. Yes. Uh, so he's he's a man of many talents, and uh, we're we're glad we've got him. Um, Quintage, tell us what it means to you. Uh, we talk about being a champion all the time and uh, have you on here because you're the champion of the week. What does that really mean? Uh, I think it means um, doing what's right when nobody's watching and uh, always showing um, good character toward people and being a good role model to the young kids. Why is that important to you, being a role model to the younger kids? Because I know that's something that drives you. Um, you want to make sure uh, that those young kids that come out and watch the football games, that they see you playing and they know that you're a guy that does things right. And it's not just all about football, it's about being a guy of character and being a leader. Why is that important to you? Uh, because you always want to uh, leave a legacy better than when you, when you came. And that's what we talk about a lot. And that's what I try to you know, get a better legacy than what we had when I came up as a freshman. Was um, was there somebody that when you were younger and you were that little kid watching football games, was there somebody you watched and thought, I either want to be a little bit like that or I want to be a little bit better than that? What what kind of – who was kind of the guy that was your role model? Uh, Victor, Victor Williams. That's a good one. Yeah. Uh, obviously, Victor's doing awesome things right now, and I, I keep tabs with him, but uh, up at Dartmouth, uh, really making a name for himself athletically, and, of course, we know what he's going to do as a leader on and off the field. Yeah. That's a good one to pick. All right, well, we appreciate having you on. Uh, Quintage Cherry, our quarterback, also captain, and uh, he's our champion of the week. All right. After this break, we'll be back to talk about this week's game versus Jinx. Welcome back. You're watching the Coach's Show. We're here to talk to Coach about this week's game. Headed up to Jinx to play the Trojans, number one in the state, mm -hmm. nationally ranked. What's your game plan? Game plan is go give them everything we got. Um, you know, you can look at it two ways, in my opinion. You can look at it as something that's uh, tough and going to be difficult, or you can look at it as an opportunity, and that, that's really what we're trying to do. Uh, we want to be that team that beats them, that team that knocks them off, that uh, that team that is that one on their record at the end of the year in the loss column. Uh, 
we're going to give them everything we got. Um, obviously, they're very talented. They've got one of the best defenses uh, Coach Trimble believes he's had since uh, the, the original Legion of Doom with all those guys that went on to play collegiately and in the NFL. Um, I actually got to play against those guys. Uh, and them. <laughs> I, so I experienced it firsthand. Um, uh, very good defense. They've got several guys that are already committed to Division One schools uh, in their secondary. Uh, their D-line is huge and athletic, and their linebackers uh, are really talented. Uh, incredible team speed. Uh, offensively, they're what they've always been. They're going to line up and try and mash you uh, with their offensive line, and their tailbacks do a great job. Uh, they've got a, a quarterback who's a sophomore that uh, does a great job as a sophomore. Uh, he's, he's kind of a manager of what they do. Um, so they probably throw it a little bit less than they have in the past, uh, and they're really relying on their run game. Special teams are always sound. Uh, you know, those guys are played at championship level. You know, you win championships, and you're, you're going to face a championship type team. Um, so we've got our work cut out for us, but it's also an opportunity, and we're pretty excited about the opportunity to go play them. You know, for a well coached team, sound offense, defense, special mm -hmm. teams, do you think there's a chance they overlook the Ruffers? I think. Uh, uh, most people probably do a little bit, and we can't ever bank on that because uh, that's not part of your game plan. Um, but what we don't want to miss is the opportunity should they do that. You know, should they snap a couple balls over the quarterback's head? Should they have a couple turnovers? Uh, should they miss a couple tackles? Uh, we want to be in position where we're playing our absolute best football to be able to take advantage of those moments. Uh, so that's that's the thing. So could those things happen? Sure. But you don't rely on those things to happen. You just want to make sure you're in position to take advantage uh, should those things happen. We're looking forward to the great opportunity Absolutely. to take on the uh, Jinx Trojans. And Jinx, this Friday night, kickoff, 730. You can listen to the radio, Nick Hampton. You can also follow us online as we stream from rougherfootball.com. And I'm Shane Stewart, standing in for the Bill Huddleston. And Coach Blankenship, thank you for watching.